What's up, world? It's the FlexCast, man, and we back for another season. Make some noise, Woo! baby! <laughs> yeah, man. We back here to live way to five way. It's the new year, the same Flex cast, almost. Uh, we got a few changes to the show, but same beautiful, brilliant host. I got Bree here with me, and I got Nubia here with me. Hey. How have y'all been doing in the new year? You. Ooh. I've been being the best wife that I can be. Hey, clap it up. Yes. For <laughs> Some of y'all. Nah, like, Let me not start the new year like that. Nubia, how you been? What's shaking? What's baking, I've man? been good. Um, I quit my job and I do hair full time and yeah. working on music. That's so yeah. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Man, <laughs> man, well I really I really like hearing stuff like that because this is one of our like entrepreneurial, I guess, like endeavors. And so we all kind of pitch in on this the same way you do with hair, the same yeah. way, you know, we, we all kind of pitch in on this. So I just want to go over some of the changes to the show, man. This year we're actually gonna have giveaways. Clap it up. Woo! We're going to have giveaways, we're going to have guests, we're going to have a lot more interactive stuff for the listeners to interact with, because season one, y'all really showed us that like y'all will interact if we put a good product out there. We got a good amount of subscribers, we got a good amount of listeners, yeah. uh, we got listeners in Texas, Georgia, Louisiana, hey. California, Oklahoma, Michigan, Missouri, Maryland, Nevada, we even got some international listeners, shout out Brazil, Ireland, Singapore, Ghana, and Colombia. All of these places are li listening to at least 50% of the cast, so that's, like, beautiful, man. I'm, I'm excited about that, and we're looking forward to more growth. Uh, if we ever do any giveaways and people out of state or out of country win, we'll come up with, like, adaptable prizes. We'll send cash apps. We'll send T-shirts. We're, we're going to have merch as well. That's another development with the podcast. So we're getting all that up and running, man. It's the new year, 23 to Jordan year. We in here real strong. We showing out. Yeah, yes. man. <laughs> One of the things that's staying the same, though, we're still going to be taste testing some of the best food in Austin. You know, Austin is known for its eateries. It's known for its food trucks. It's small hole-in-the-wall places. And today we're trying one of my personal friend's new restaurant. Nubia, if you want to open that for the front yes. camera for him. This is Tito's Trap Burgers, man. Tito's Trap Burgers just opened this year. Uh, let me get the address for y'all. So if y'all do want to go there, y'all can actually way. go straight there. Definitely a hidden gem. It is located at 1401 Cedar Ave. That is in Austin, Texas. Their hours are Monday through Sunday, 12 to 8. What we're taste testing today, me and Nubia are going to try their signature trap burger. So this yes. is like their, if this oh, was, okay. yeah, if this yeah. is McDonald's, this would be the Big Mac. If it was Whataburger, it would be the Whataburger. This is the trap burger with their trap fries. They have about mm. five different options. I think they have wings as well. Shout out Tito, man. A lot of y'all know him as Norman. He did a lot. He does a lot mm. for the city and is still doing a lot for the city. This is one of his things that he's introducing so man shout out that man we about to taste it right now and y'all know we keep it real if it's nasty Absolutely. we're gonna tell you Nubia let's bite in man alright let's, let's figure out it. I'm sorry Tito I wish I could try it too I just had with my wisdom teeth removed we're so. not gonna do that to you we'll, we'll tell you how it <laughs> tastes right? it smell good it look good okay oh. okay okay smells fresh Norman everything tastes fresh as hell man okay the vegetables are fresh Great bun. I judge a burger by the bun. I don't know I about that. Is the bun sweet the bun. or is it tart? <laughs> but nah. It's good. It's good, man. It's, it's good. good. Okay. Like, How's the flavor? It's fresh. It has a sweet taste to it. There's some type of like sauce in here that's thrown. It's in. like something mixed with like mayo and ketchup. I feel like it's mixed together. It's like a special sauce. It's like mm -hmm. a real, real, okay. real, real zesty sauce. And then these fries are not like regular. These are like like homemade potato fries. Like they have a real potato texture. They're kind of the rigid. best fries to have. Yeah. Are very good. Man. And their season So well, thumbs too. up, Nubian? Okay. Thumbs up. Yeah. Tito's Trap Burger gets a thumbs up from the FlexCast. Hey, shout out Tito's Trap Burger. You're our first restaurant to taste test. If you're listening <laughs> to this, wherever you at, when you come to Austin, go to Tito's Trap Burger. If you live in Austin, go to Tito's Trap Burger. You know what I'm saying? Support our community, man. Yeah, this is good food. I really like this, man. Show Tito some love, y'all. Absolutely, man. That was amazing. Later. <laughs> <laughs> well... So, that's our taste test for this episode. We're going to go ahead and get into some of these topics with y'all. I'm excited for some of the topics that we have. Uh, let's go ahead and get into these. All right. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the next topic is going to be trends that we want to leave in 2022. That's a good one. Clap it up, yes, man. We, yes. we clapping it up. That's a good topic. <laughs> trends. Um, I'm going to definitely say the over excessive baby hairs on the lace. <laughs> that's Look, a good one. I love a good that's lace. That's a good one. But it's supposed to be like, it's, we know it's there, but it's not there. Yeah. So, like, why do we have the baby the hairs? 
the adult hairs. Like I'm, I'm done with it. I am. I'm okay. past that. I got a little swoop right over here. That's all I need. <laughs> can, so yes, can y'all tell she do hair? To, look, that, that's, that's that a hairdresser to be, talking. It's because the, ba- the ball headed girls are the ones that always yes. want to do the extra swooping and yes. looping, and it's and just then, too much. You do it for them, and then they can't duplicate it right. the next couple gotta, of days. They so they'll be them. looking crazy. And I'm like, sis, I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to do some simple baby hairs, and we're going to keep it pushing. <laughs> so that's definitely one. Brie don't have baby hair, so I won't. I won't. Right. Uh, Brie, trend, what, we what, what are we leaving in 22, man? What's not coming with us into 23? I'm going to say the overdone plastic surgery. I don't think there's anything wrong with plastic what? surgery. Nothing mm. wrong with it at all. But we get to the point where everyone's lips is crooked and oversized and plumped and flumped and thumped. Mm. Hey. Booty <laughs> cheeks look like big bad shaped <laughs> biscuits. They wobble. It's like, it's to a point where it's not sexy, it's not tasteful. And granted, it's not always supposed to be. But everyone looks the same. There's no authenticity. There's nothing that looks different. Yeah. Hey, why y'all be having veneers with cracked lips? I want to know so that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just, it never goes together. I ain't got nothing That's to a good one. <laughs> Trend I want to leave in 22, and I know I'm going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Stop bragging about the Cowboys in 23, man. Why are you I can go with that. Y'all, no, listen, listen. Let <laughs> I me can just, go no, with that. But just listen, listen. I'm going to just say why, because, and I don't hate the Cowboys. I, I, think, I think they're like a good thing for Texas to be proud of. But at the same time, they got to win before y'all be bragging about them. So just be quiet in 23. People going to go hard for their team. Too, so. Yeah, but, but Saints fans be quiet. You know why? Because they losing. Rams fans. <laughs> hey, my cousin. Hey, shout out my cousin. He's the biggest Rams fan. But when I met with him on Christmas, you know what he did? He closed his mouth because the Rams are sorry. I just wish oh my God. Cowboy <laughs> fans would realize, would like, be a yo, more humble. if we bit. not winning nothing, let's just root, like, with one hand. Not two hands standing up with our shirt. You dig what I'm saying? They are the, look, they're the proudest losers in the world. They're going to be loud and wrong at the same time. They do not care. Man, <laughs> that's, that's what I want to leave in 22, man. I think we all had some good ideas. Hey, here's a way y'all can get entered into the drawing. Y'all will learn what y'all are winning in just a little bit. But follow us on Instagram. We got a brand new Instagram, The Flex Cast, all one word, T-H-E-F-L-E-X-C-A-S-T. All of our followers, all of our commenters, all of our likers, anyone who tweets or posts anything with hashtag The Flex Cast is going to be entered into a drawing. And you want to win this. We're going to talk about hmm. it in a little bit exactly what you're going to win. Actually, uh... Nubia, why don't you go ahead into that? That's a good topic. Um, okay, so for spring break, yeah. uh, they are going to be having uh, Glorilla, Lil Wayne, Kodak Black, hey. and Steve Ioko. They're coming. Um, where are they going to be? South Padre? Mm-hmm. Okay, they're going to be mm-hmm. in South Padre. Clayton's and, Beach Bar. Yes. Okay. And so you could enter in a chance to win um, wait, some wait, tickets wait, for a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, all you have to do is tell McGandrian. <laughs> Interact, <got> man. <laughs> Engage on the page. Like something. Tag who you would take to the concert. We're giving away two VIP tickets to one of the two. days in South Padre. Uh, like I said earlier, if if fans who are not in Texas or can't make it to Texas win our drawings or giveaways, we'll come up with, like, something else for you to win. You'll, mm-hmm. Everybody, if you win, you'll win. Mm-hmm. But right now, the giveaway, we got two VIP tickets for spring break. Lil Wayne, Glorilla, Kodak oh Black, my. Steve Aoki. I even read uh, Shaq is the DJ for the whole thing. So, I'm so yeah, dead. Shaq I is, love is so talented. Yeah, <laughs> Shaq, yeah, the DJ for the whole event, like between artists and, and like keeping the all. crowd I lit. I would love for him to DJ myself. Yeah, okay. yeah, Just yeah. <laughs> so it's a lit time, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah. be. Follow the Flex cast, yes. like us, comment, yes. and you could win so tickets for you and your boo or you and, you and whoever, man. Yeah. yeah. Have y'all ever been to South Padre for... No. Spring break? No. I haven't either. I'm just wondering what it's like. I mean, I've, to, I heard it's Florida. crazy. I've seen that aspect, but I don't know what what, what is it. What so, is it shout out Kay Fresco. Kay used to get an Airbnb out in. Uh oh. Yeah, we used to go out there and go crazy, <laughs> man. Like, it bodies was, and bodies was out. Nah, it was. It, and the, the cool thing about <laughs> it, too, is like nobody. Like, you ever go to a party or a function and, like, everybody's too cool? That's yeah. not the case in mm-hmm. Padre. Everybody's like, yo, we drove like four hours out here, so yeah. we finna act a fool. So and everyone's lit. Everyone's like, yo, it's, it's a vibe. There's people walking around with bottles, pouring out shots. Like, it's, it's really communal, and I, no, I, you can win okay. tickets to All it right. if you rock with the Flex Cast, man. Gotta go out there and be safe. Okay. Right, absolutely. <laughs> be safe. What we got next? What we got next, Bree? Well, so there is a new robo taxi service in Austin. How are we feeling about that? Is that a service we feel like we're going to be able to trust? Are we feeling like this is a service that's going to be more efficient? Do we feel like this is a service that's going to fix our traffic problem? Because let's be real, the traffic is getting ridiculous <laughs> and people can't drive. For sure. First of all, I'm curious just because I know Nubia. Nubia, would you get in a taxi if the driver was a robot? 
No. I feel like I know the answer. Uh, I feel like I know the answer. What, but I, what, 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 I feel like you would say hell no. Nah. Uh, no, I would actually. You, I would say yes, and wow, I'm gonna. Okay. And reason why I'm gonna say yes. Okay. One, I have anxiety when it comes to being on the road. Okay. 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 So. I don't care if you've been driving for 30, 40, 50 years. I don't care. Right. I don't trust you. For sure. And I feel like maybe with the the little robo whatever dudes, <laughs> mm -hmm. like maybe they can calculate things better than us humans can't. Okay. And they could be like, oh, it's it's an accident probably about to happen if this and this happens. So maybe I need to move this way. Now I'm I'm not for like moving towards that technical side of right. the future. It's a, it's okay. a scary thing because they mm. can also kidnap me as well. Exactly. But mm. I I feel like maybe they can calculate you know driving a lot better than most people because nowadays they give people a license to anybody. So well, oh, they've been doing that. Well, no, I'm not, I was saying without a license, they like what? <laughs> I'm gonna say. I would. I probably. I probably would. Bree, and so they ain't brave. gonna talk to me. It's a no for me. Bree, what's the? <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, I already knew. It was no, I'm gonna ask a different question because I already knew you probably wasn't going for it because I'm not going for it. And no. we, you know, we, we kind of feel. We're the same. So let me ask you this. <laughs> Let's say late night somewhere, can't get an Uber, can't get a lift, mm -hmm. can't get a ride. You stranded and the robot pull up. You not getting in? Nah. Under, am I, no, so, am I under, sober? No, nah, you you cannot drive. It's not a if I'm not sober, that means my inhibitions are lower, and I'm gonna be like, I have no choice. I still so want to get, get home. Okay, <laughs> but that doesn't mean the whole time I'm gonna be up here. But you would, get, but you would get in. I would get in, and okay. I would pray to God the entire time because I don't see how a robot could predict like just traffic patterns and the craziness that happens with trafficking. And just a full disclaimer uh, about this story: they're actually having accidents. They've been minor and non-fatal with the robot. Yes, so oh, help. Oh. Yeah, they're, they've been minor and non-fatal. <laughs> Like they've been like fender benders or things okay. like that, but there have been small accidents just from you know the robots not being able to exactly calculate like someone's move or something like so that. But they've, they've been non-fatal and non you know they haven't been serious accidents, so I think that it's worth a go. I think it's popular. I got a question: Are they the robots that look like the ones off of iRobot, or are they just like ro robotically moving like, the car, like moving a Tesla the car? I, yeah. I, I believe from what I read, it's an I, that would make it's an autonomous <laughs> car. Oh, so okay. it has a mind of its own. It has it, a computer. Okay. It would pull up. You would get in. It would have a destination, and it would take you there. This guy, entire conversation gives me anxiety. Most it of the does, right? most <laughs> of, a lot that can happen. My thing is, my thing is, look at who's rolling it out. It's GM, which is like one of the biggest car manufacturers. So it's gonna be popular. Are they the safest car manufacturers? I mean, honestly, I think it's it, safe or not. It's gonna be popular. It's gonna be a ride share option, and it'll be interesting. Everybody's to see looking for yeah, the it'll newer, be interesting bigger, how people, better thing. Look how quick people hopped on scooters, like like it was nothing. True. Like that's not necessarily safe. You know what I mean? But no, but it's not. People, right. people was looking like they was getting jumped falling <laughs> off them scooters. So right, right. <laughs> well, we live in this modern world with all this new technology, and I guess we got to learn to adapt. But mm -hmm. a robotic car, an autonomous car, is not <laughs> it, it's not necessarily a far fetched thing. There, Tesla makes them, and you know they setting up shop here. So I mean, it's not a far fetched thing. I, I've seen people riding autonomous cars. It looks safe, but. I'm gonna give it a couple more years for them right. to like figure it out. And yeah, see yeah. exactly what's going on. Let some other people try it out first and give right, them those little right. fender benders. Yeah, not not us. No, I'll be last. Yeah, that's scary. Next thing you know, it would be a robotic plane. <laughs> plane flying itself. Hell no. So we got, you know, we talked to y'all earlier about having guests on the show. We yes. have some guests here. We're gonna take a quick break just to get them mic'd up. But don't y'all go anywhere. We'll be right back. We're gonna get into some real culture talk, man. It's time to talk culture. Yeah, let's do it.